day, but came up with six things on my list today. Got five of them done. Haven't done the, that one piece for the ceiling yet, but got all this insulated on both sides. Trail is on. Uh, what was the other thing? DC to DC charges hooked up the way I wanted it. What was the other? Oh, the water. My water's fixed. So looking good. Got everything pretty much done. I'll, that ceiling will just take me a minute. But looking good. Getting there for getting there for winter and uh, full time here. You know, you know crunch time here. I've got the month basically to get situated, but probably be out in the next week or so. So, anyways. Time for a shower and uh, bed. <laughs> so, so this is what I've resorted to. <laughs> oh, so I forgot to mention why I was pointing out that battery charger. So, I'm in Maine, as most of you know. Bailey, Maine, New Hampshire line, just about quarter of a mile that way. Oh, it's getting dark. And so the sun here is setting a lot earlier. And also we live in a rainforest lately. We were in a drought at the beginning of the summer, but now we're in it rains every day. My solar has not been keeping up at all. And um, so I sat at my parents for basically two days or two nights, two nights, day and a half we'll say, with no solar. Um, I got a little bit, but not much. And then I only, it's only an hour drive back to here. So I ran the DC to DC charger and my battery was the lowest I had ever seen. I think it was at like 69 or 68%. That's the lowest I've ever seen that battery. And so ran the DC to DC charger for an hour this morning on the way back, got up to a little over 71, but because it wasn't very sunny today, my refrigerator still runs all day. Um, and I came home and it was down, back down at the low 70s again. So I did set up the shore power with the um, battery charger. So I turned it on that, that can do 10 amps, but I've only got it set to five because I'm just gonna trickle charge it because I'm gonna be parked here for the next, what's today? Today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'll be leaving Thursday. So I'm gonna be here three more, three more days, so. <clears throat> definitely was going to run those batteries down. But I want to show you guys, so just in case you doubt me, I know you don't because you all know me and trust me, but I wanted to show you my room. Well, you can see the desk. Uh, the monitor I'd like to put in the van, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Um, I still have my Wi-Fi router hooked up. <laughs> A TV that I haven't turned on in months. <laughs> um... Of course, a suitcase packed up with mostly it was work stuff because I was supposed to be going to mass, but I told them I'm not going for a couple days. Draw. <laughs> Nightstand. <laughs> Big bureau. So I, that is staying or going. Ski bag, that's got to go. This is basically <laughs> what's left of my life knickknacks that I had in the house or the, the room. This stuff, I don't need, it has no sentimental value. Um, it was, uh, I think it was at the house, the last house I bought 20 years ago. So they might be worth some money, throw them in eBay. These are all... His, my granddaughter Evelyn's handprint from 2011. These, this is my son's handprint when he was, that's not, 12, 13, 98. You know, so he must be, he's a little, little, almost a year old. This is something that Jake had made. And I believe one of the kids has stitches from this. Um, he, it, actually, no, maybe Cassie made this. 
Nope, Jacob made this. Okay, so this isn't the one that J Jake, my, uh, Cassie had made something and it had a string on it. It wasn't this. And Jake pulled on it when he was just starting to walk and cracked him in the head. And I think he had to go and have butterflies put in. And here's a handprint from Jake from 2005. And he's going to kill me for putting all this in here. Picture on the big lows of me, Jake, Emily, and Willie. <laughs> So this stuff's all going in storage. I'm not parting with it. I do have a tote full of pictures somewhere. These three totes are going in storage. Um, I haven't decided what I'm doing my PlayStation yet. This suitcase is full of ski boots <laughs> and winter boots. So that's got to go in the van somehow. That's all going. Comic books are going. These books, I haven't figured out how to do books yet. I, I've not seen anybody in van life in a video with books. So, I, But I don't want to part with... Um, a couple of these. I mean, that, this one's helped me lose about 100 pounds. I want at least one mountain white white mountain guide, even though, but obviously the newer one, even though I never look at it. I haven't even read that yet. Um, bird identifying. This we bought when we were out in Bend. These are, these are, I thin this down. I have this by Steve, even though I've never read it. Sorry, Steve. One of these days I'll bring it in for you to sign, too. This is a book my son gave me when he was really young, September 2000. Yeah, really, really young. Um, trail maintenance book I still yet to read. And of course this, I don't want to give up even though I have it on Kindle too. So I'm not sure what's going on that. Storage, these are actually going to my mother's because each one of those is, I got my zero degree, well, two, Zero degree quilt. Those are my 40 degree quilts. The 20 degree quilts are in the van now because I still I use that this time of the year. Desk is going. This whole bedroom set's going. So any of you guys want a bedroom set, it's for sale. Um, I haven't had any bids on it yet or bites. Shooting bag and a camera bag, which I didn't part with when I sold my camera. I sold, only sold the camera because it didn't do 4K and I've been filming on 4K. And I may get another camera. So maybe I'll throw this in storage. This is going in the storage one. Up to mommy's house. <laughs> so that's it. Got a few things in the garage. Um, problem is, is I still have quite a bit of stuff in the van for construction stuff. You know, that will be eventually gone. There's a whole tote in there that will be gone when I'm done with the van build. Even though I've been told you're never done with the van build. So anyways, that is my life. What's left in my room. Um, and anything in the kitchen, I didn't really have anything in the kitchen because I use their stuff. So I've got pressure cooker, which I'm probably going to leave for Jamie because he lost his in the divorce. <laughs> so I'll let him have mine. Um, a popcorn thing, which I don't have a microwave, so I'm not going to leave that. The kids like to use that. And, oh, my dehydrator and my vacuum sealer. I want to take that with me somehow but maybe i'll slip that in at mommy's house too so and i and this anybody local that wants a 3d map of the white mountains let me know i will be in i'm in the whites just about every weekend and i will drop it off to you if you want it or if you see anything else you want <laughs> a book or something let me know i will definitely give it away especially if you watch this channel and promote it but uh, that's it. Or, yeah, well, the TV, I kind of think I'm leaving here for the kids in the game room. Anyways, it's happening. It's happening. Oh, boot warmer. I got a boot warmer down there. That can't go. I have a small one for the van. <laughs> oh, it's getting nervous. Nervy. Nerve. What's, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm getting nervous. Yeah, we'll just say it the right way. I'm getting a little nervous. But... I'm not even sleeping in here anymore because I don't have anything left. Everything's in the van. Even my food's in the van. Well, got this fixed. It was this plywood holding up the back corner. Didn't notice it when I put it in. Obviously, I'm going to do some finish work in here. I don't know how and what yet, but that will be a nice corner when I'm done. I did it th that way to give me more space for the bed and on to the new problem the diesel it was leaking so i've been using it so it's you know the 
diesel level has dropped, so it doesn't seem to be leaking. But I noticed that the tank is sweating during the day. So that's my next issue I got to deal with. I'm going to have to probably insulate that tank. I assume it's sweating. When, the, when a pipe sweats, you put some insulation around it, and that will stop it. So that's going on the list. So I'm moving my work car on Friday morning or afternoon. Um, more afternoon. So I'm getting a ride back from Scarborough to here. And I'll drive my work car back out to Scarborough, leave it, and then take the van and head up to the, the Whites for the weekend. And uh, so when I come back from the Whites on Saturday night, I will be officially in the van, even though I've got rent paid here till the end of the month because I haven't sold my bedroom set, as I just mentioned. And uh, the desk I did sell after I shot that first video that was actually yesterday. That's right. We're on a new day here. I'm getting confused. And uh, so the desk is sold. I'm going to bring that with me, put it in the trailer, bring it with me. She's meeting me in Wyndham. Um, so that's gone. So I just have the bedroom set left and some miscellaneous tools. Like some, I have some nail guns, a uh, roofer, and a couple other things from when I did my roof back years ago I bought. Um, and me in some computer parts my son's taking care of for me. So anyways, getting down there. Just got to figure out where I'm going to put my ski bag. It's in my, up in my seat. And uh, that suitcases. I have some stuff in suitcases, the boots and the um, my work clothes. Uh, my work clothes, I could probably sneak at work. Or leave my work car. There we go. <laughs> I'll get dressed at work. <laughs> oh, God. This is happening. This is happening faster than I thought I was going to. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. So, anyways, I'm going to get back to work on the van. So I, I need to make sure that, I don't need to make sure, um, but I want to get as much of the raw materials I have laying around in this van, like in, installed in the van. So I'm not, I'm dealing with just finished work on the road because that's going to, I'm not going to have as many tools. I still have access to my dad's house, obviously, but um, Jamie's got a beautiful table saw. So I'm trying to get everything cut that I can, that I have in, in stock, we'll call it. pretty but it's gonna work check this mess out <laughs> this is all boots ski boots cross-country boots and my winter boots so we're off this is like it so when I get up to my parents house some of the this, like the gun safe is going there um, and some my quilts and some other stuff. I don't know what I'm doing with the rest yet. A lot of it's gonna be thrown out. Uh, this is what's left of basically 20 years of storing, keeping, stuff I should've got rid of over a year ago before I even thought about doing this. So there's a long time coming. Um, what was I gonna say now? So we're gonna head up there. My parents are going to probably freak when they see how much stuff I have, but they get to remember some of it's temporary, like the wood, and the rest is, uh, <laughs> might be a little bit more permanent, but oh, we'll see. I still hear I have my desk because the woman backed out on the desk. Thank God, really, because I don't have any room for it. I was supposed to bring it up to Wyndham and meet her in Wyndham, so, but she canceled this morning and then my bedroom set. So, still got some work to do. Probably another trip up here if I can't sell a bedroom set. I don't know I'm going to do it if I don't sell it. I feel like I'm... I, f <laughs> I feel like I'm failing already. <laughs> it is 7 o'clock. I got out of work at 12.30. Headed up to my parents. Took care of everything that needed to be... That needed to officially stay here. Then I went through basically 20, 30 years maybe of kid stuff, like stuff that I saved of Jake and Cassie that I'm like, why did I save this? 
It was like I had a newspaper. I have no idea why I saved it. Um, what was the other thing I had? Like just these folders that was generic stuff in it. It wasn't even stuff that like the kids made. So I, I basically went from four totes full of Emily and Jake and Cassie stuff, kids stuff, you know, like schoolwork and got it down to one. Um, mostly pictures and stuff like that. I was just I'm like, why did I save this? Why did I say, I mean, I must've saved it for a reason. I mean, Jake's gonna be 24. <laughs> so I mean, I've been saving this stuff a long time and he's the youngest. <laughs> but um, I did find some stuff of Emily that was pretty cute. When, I think it was kindergarten or something. The life of Emily. Boy, that's, uh, that has definitely changed. She's, she's the out west living the West Coast life and, you know, living in a tiny house or moving into a tiny house and stuff. So I guess we're all weird in my family. But anyways, um, so I'm, I'm at the parents' house in the morning I have to get up, meet someone, because I've been selling stuff like crazy. I met someone tonight, sold a saw. I gotta meet someone tomorrow, sell a boot, the boot dryer. Then I have to, my daughter Cassie's picking me up driving me back out to the house so I can grab my work car, which is an hour away, and then drive all the way an hour back, drop the work car off at the office where I'm gonna keep it, and then turn around, get in the van, and drive all the way to New Hampshire, which is probably from Scarborough, two hours. So it's gonna be a long day again tomorrow, then I gotta get some sleep, get up at 1 a.m. and start hiking at two. And I have no room. Look, I, I, I didn't even, I didn't, put my ski stuff in here. I put it up upstairs in the garage. I, I just don't have room. I still have some construction materials in here. And uh, until I get that out, I guess I can't get the ski stuff in. Um, I don't know. I, I got a wall of crap right here. I gotta. I guess I gotta thin out some more. This is tough getting, you know, basically 30 years of being on my own. 40, 50, no, yeah, yeah, 30 years less. Getting down to a van. <laughs> I was very hopeful a week ago. And then when I finally cleared everything else out, I'm like, oh, I need this. Oh, I need that. And then I bought food today. And, oh, man. Too many toys. Too many drones, stuff everywhere. I got a computer monitor. I didn't want to part with my big monitor so I can hook it up when I'm doing video editing. But I'm going to probably try to mount that up here. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. The cab's full of stuff that's going to be sold tomorrow. So that will clear out. But look at this floor. I don't even know what to do with this stuff. That's my work stuff. So that's going to have to be with me. I guess I could leave that at the office. And my, my work tablet. But it would be nice to have with me. Um, phone and other keyboards. So whatever's in there. That's some hiking food for this weekend. My bubblies. I guess I'm going to have to give up bubblies because i got a case there. And another case down there somewhere. Underneath the sink. Um, my trash can's full of crap that i got to go through. Underneath is full of crap. Shocks. I guess I got to put my shocks on there sitting over there. Get those out of here. Tea. I got two cases of hand warmers and foot warmers way too much i i don't even i didn't even use hardly any last year i guess i'm gonna have to use them up this year <sighs> oh my head hurts my head hurts there's times that you sit back and say am i making the right mis right mistake <laughs> the right decision and everything says yes but I think I uh, need more storage somehow too many hobbies hiking climbing I don't even have my mountaineering boots I sold those today by the way so I don't even have mountaineering boots now so basically, by the time I'm done just for winter, I'll have mountaineering boots, cross-country ski boots. I want to buy another pair of cross-country skis, so it'll be two cross-country ski boots. My Columbia boots, because I sold one of my other winter I'm, I downgraded to one pair of winter, winter boots. I've got my Tele 
75 millimeter boots, my NTN boots. So there's six pairs of boots. I mean, we're not talking little boots here. I can't give up hobbies. I just can't do it. I'll have to get a trailer. <laughs> you know, and that's the other thing. I have a tent, which I never use. A hammock, which I haven't been using. It might be time to sell that tent. That takes up quite a bit of room. It's a winter four season tent. Sleep pad. Closed foam. Maybe I can put that under my mattress. That'd be a pain though if I wanted to, needed to use it to pull up my mattress to get it. Because that's in a tote. I basically, this one right here, it's big totes all winter. This tote is toilet paper, paper towels, my jeans, and sweatshirts. And I have, this is all camping gear, this one, which that's the hammock. My tent may be in that one too. Climbing gear, so that one's kind of small. This is all my, when I say climbing, I'm talking glaciers. So this is helmets in here. Um, uh, I don't even know if my crampons are in there and stuff. This is food. This is all electronic crap. Well, I guess stuff in this bottom tote is um, stuff that I'm selling, my bike tires I'm trying to sell, and I'm probably not gonna sell them for a while, so I probably could take those out and stash those somewhere. <sighs> I've got two pillows now because I had one in the house. Um, I could put one in the suitcase and just use it for traveling because I bring my own pillow when I sleep in a hotel, I know. I've got my climbing rope over here hung up. Behind there, I've got iced tea stashed. <laughs> this is all full of clothes, basically hiking clothes, full of food. I, I, I look like a clutterbug. Oh, this is miserable. Okay, I gotta get to editing this video. I'm actually working on this one that I'm making this one for. I'm trying to keep up because I gotta be uploading videos when I have internet. Totally relearning life here. Totally. Hey, I want to thank everybody for stopping by and putting up with my negativity and my almost nervous breakdown tonight. I wanted to keep it real, so I left it in there, but I am definitely feeling overwhelmed. This is all new to me, and I really am just winging it. Anyways, uh, if you're not already following me on Instagram, head on over there and follow me there. And also, I started a Patreon account, and I'm building some content over there. And feel free to stop by and check that out, too. Have a good one, and see you all out there.